Hi everyone, Anita Fanita here. I know it's a little bit late, but I wanted to show you uh, what's in this box. Okay, so this box here is $200 uh, at a yard sale. So let's see what's in here. Did I win? Did I lose? I think I, I pretty much won because uh, they are all silver items. So let's go through it. I didn't get, I didn't go through it all. I did go through some of the belts, but let's see. Okay. So we have this belt here. And as you can see, it has those, um, I forgot what these were called. Uh, the Navajo, um, hang on. I did look them up. <laughs> and then I forgot. <laughs> but let me see what they're called. I'm going to tell you what they're called. Hang on. <laughs> And it's funny because I did look them up and I forgot what it's called. So I'm going to tell you guys what it is right now. Just give me a second. And they are Navajo jewelry and they are turquoise. Uh, this part over here is not sterling silver. I did test it, but it's called nickel silver. But it does not, it's not uh, any less, uh, you know, the price is not any, not, not, uh, you know, that much difference. Uh, from the real silver it is it is still going for a high price I did see a few of them sell in the high uh, uh, in, in the in the 200s and 220s you know they went from ranging from 170 to 250 dollars uh, depending on which ones uh, I'm not sure what the differences were I think the differences were, were the condition and as you can see this one has never been used uh, the belt here doesn't have a hole in it it's new leather and it has not been used so let me just tell you what it's called i should have done this before i opened the video but let me tell you okay okay let's see because um, okay. i did list one of them you know as tr for, to try it out but i did not go through the whole thing so but i did list one of the belts and unless i listed it under navajo nickel silver uh it's called a concho uh belt um 10 piece uh, and so there's 10 of these on here so um so there was four of these belts in here and then i'm going to look at what i didn't get to see but i did see that there were well i thought there was four hang on here we go one two well i'm mistaken there's three of them here okay okay so i was wrong there was three Okay, so uh, this one here is, uh, and this is not uh, rust. Uh, this is just some crayon had, I guess, melted on it or something. See, it does come off, so it's not rusting. And I, I did clean one of them off, the one I pictured. I cleaned this one. I just used a cotton towel, and I guess it was some kind of crayon or something on here that melted. So there's um, three of these here. One's brown, two's black, and I'm just going to go through the rest. These are the ones that I saw. And I don't know why I thought there was four of them, but there's three. Okay. So there's three of those. And then there's this, these over here. Uh, I forgot what these are called again. <laughs> I did not list any of these yet. And uh, yes, these were not marked. These were unmarked. But uh, so were so many of When I looked them up, uh, many of them were unmarked. And these birds are going crazy. I'm sorry about that. But I'm going to go, uh, you know, as fast as I can here. And... This one, um, my mom was going through one of these, and she told me that it, that she saw a name under here. I'm not sure if it was under this one that she saw or not. Uh, let's look at it through the loop. I'm just going through it with you guys, okay? I did go through the builds, and my mom looked at a couple of these, and then I don't remember any of the other things in here. So, and no, I do not see any markings on here. And yes, this, these are real turquoise, and I wouldn't even know where to look for markings, but I don't see anything. And this is leather. I did smell it, and it does have the, the bottom silver pieces. So there's one and three of these. Uh, oh, actually, hang on. This one was round. These are more rectangular. Yeah. Let me get rid of the birds. Hang on. I'm just going to not get rid of them, but I'm just going to put them uh, a little bit farther. I'm back. Thank you for staying with me. Okay, so this one is not marked, but it is Navajo. And as you can see, it is uh, and, and it is sterling silver. These these ones were not the, the belt buckles. But this one was, I did test this one. Okay. These, I don't know. I have not tested these two, but these look pretty similar to the other one. 
and let's see if there's any marks here. Yes, there is. Okay. Okay, and then this one says R, and then there's kind of like a lightning. Uh, it goes like like this, kind of like a lightning, and then it says uh, P, I think. Yeah, it's an R, and then a lightning sign, and then a P. So I'm not sure if that's RP or RSP, uh, but it is marked under here. And yeah, it needs to be cleaned. It does have that, whatever that crayon was that melted on here was probably why she, they were selling it for so low because they didn't want to go through this. But you know, I have the time. <laughs> okay, so there's two of these. Uh, let me see if this one says the same thing. And yes, it does. No, hang on. Does it? Or is it's not even is it's a lightning RP okay okay so there's we have this one okay I don't know what's in here so okay we have a belt buckle here with turquoise on here and this one is marked also and it says JS in the back here so we have that and we have a little tinier one here and you know there are prices on here this is probably how much that they wanted to get for it and it does say $80 on this one and this is a smaller version of the one we saw pr uh, prior to this and this one here let's see if I can read it it says Tommy I think that's Tommy or Zami Either it's a T or a Z, Ami, and then M O O, and I can't read the rest. So it is designer uh, made here, and it does have a designer uh, signature on here. I don't know if you can recognize the, the signature here, but it's very tiny. Okay, so that's that. This is just, this is in here. Okay, these I'm assuming are turquoise as well. It's just like threaded on here and there's one and two of these and this is how the clasp is okay, let me see if there's any markings on the clasp and no there is not so I don't know how much any of this is worth but I do know that the belts uh, are are the, le the least that they're gonna go for is at least 120 each so let's see what else is in here. This is just beads in here. I don't know what this is doing in here, but yeah, this was in there too. And then we have this one here. Oops, fell out. <laughs> I'm trying to see if she priced this with anything and she has not. Okay, these are earrings pierced and uh, they say AR Sterling. And I see another symbol on top. Let's see what that is. Well, um, it's like an indentation, so it's not really a marking. And this is kind of like a bear claw, and yeah, they're earrings. So we have that. Let's see what else we have? A lot of little tiny things in here. Okay, we have a bag full of earrings here. Okay, this one shoots on here. It says ten dollars. I don't know why it says ten dollars there. I'm sure they're worth a lot more than ten dollars. And they are earrings, and I don't see any markings on them. But there's like here we go one and two and three, four, five, six, seven pairs of these earrings in here. And they're not marked, but they are obviously looking silver. So there's a whole bunch of these in here. Okay. So I don't know how much they go for a piece. I still have to look all of these up. And okay, this one is empty. Okay, this one has stuff in it too. I think it was worth $300. I mean, 200 sorry. <laughs> so this is pretty okay um not marked so there's two pairs of these here very pretty they're very nice i like it turquoise okay so there's two pairs of earrings here i see some rings here hang on here let's see what are these okay. and a 
I'm stuck up here. Okay. So we have this one here. Very pretty. <laughs> and I go dropping it. Okay, I want to see if there's any marks inside. So let's see. Um, I don't see anything. Okay, so I don't see any markings under this ring. And it's, oh, got it stuck there. So let's see. Okay, so my this finger is a size 7, so it's probably a 7. And we have three of these. These ones look the same. One and two and three of these. And let me see if this one has any markings. And no, it does not. And they are pretty dirty, so even if there was markings, I wouldn't be able to see them in here. So there's four rings. I don't know how much any of this is. I need to look them up. And let's see what goodies are in here. <laughs> I think $200 for this is awesome. Okay. Here we have earrings here. This one. And then we have these. Very pretty. Uh, no markings. They're pretty dirty. Need to be cleaned up. And if you, if you are cleaning up jewelry like this, I'm going to show you a little trick that Nishana told me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, don't throw them in the cleaner, especially in the Tarnex. What you can do is, see, see what, you use this old school eraser here. And look at that. Okay, look. Look at the difference. It just shines it up. Like even over here in the front. I would just just go over it a little bit here and you know just gently I'm not quite gentle right now but I would do this gently <laughs> so you don't break anything and look how nice and shiny this uh, the site came out very pretty and you can tell the difference uh, look at how black that one is and look how nice and, and clean this one this one I only did like a small portion here on the bottom and look how clean it is just with the eraser. So yeah, use the eraser. Don't ruin the jewelry. If you're not okay with it, don't do that either. And uh, yeah, I, things like this, I wouldn't clean at all. Just if you want, if you want to sell them, I would go ahead and sell them that way. That's just my opinion. I, I I would rather not ruin them and just sell them in that way. But I do use an eraser to shine them up. Okay, so this is leaf uh, earrings here and turquoise and it says genuine indian handmade sterling silver and it's on a card so we have that and we have this um what is this okay hang on <laughs> okay it's an earring and it has a little cuff so it's a silver leaf earring with a turquoise stone here and this is like a little cuff uh that goes on on your ear and this one it looks like it has a coral stone and I don't see any markings. And let's see. Let me double check. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't see any markings on here. And let me look inside of the cuff and see if there's anything in there. No. Okay, so we have this. No markings. And I don't know what these are. But yeah. And we have some kind of. Um, pin here. Oh, this one says something here. Okay, it says sterling, and this is just a little pin here. So we have that. Let's see what else we have. Okay, what are these? Okay, these say eighteen dollars. It's marked up here. I don't know if they were selling them in the store or why it has prices on it, but does okay these also say genuine indian handmade sterling silver and these are exactly the same ones as the one that i just showed you so there's one two and three of these earrings and i have no idea about the prices of these i'm just you know gonna start looking for them today maybe tomorrow okay what else do we have okay we have a um, little baggie here also Oh, that's nice okay we have a uh, really like a larger leaf here with again with the turquoise 
and I don't see any markings on here as well. Let me check in here. You know, they are very dirty. So. No, I don't see anything, but these are really nice. Very nice, very old. Okay, so we have that. And I see another pair of earrings here. Okay, this one here, again, leaves. And this one has the turquoise and the coral. And, oh no, oh no, is it missing the leaf? Oh, okay, uh, yeah, it's missing a leaf, I think. Well, we'll see if it shows up. Okay, so this one is missing a leaf. Um, oh, let's see what it says in the back. You know, maybe what I can do is if I can't find a leaf, uh, what I can do is remove the other one. So that way they're both just only have one leaf. And, you know, and that way it's not so bad. So we'll see. The leaf might show up. Let's see. Okay, we have another one. Okay, so this is the same one as this one here. So we have two of these. Oh, three, four. We have four of these. Four of these. We have some kind of necklace here. And let's see, let's see if this is silver. Yeah, it says S-T-E-R. So I'm assuming that's for sterling. It's just a necklace. I don't know what this is. Somebody must have pulled apart a mirror or something on the wall. And we have some stuff here. Okay, let's get to the little ones first here. Okay, oh, cute. Okay, little tiny earrings, turquoise. Again, Navajo jewelry. Okay, so we have these two stud earrings. Okay, we have a cross. And it's not marked. It's very clean, the cross. Okay, uh, we have another earring. So let's see. Okay, I see more earrings. But they're tangled. I hate when these tangles. Okay, so we have another ring. <laughs> Some tangles here. Okay, this one here is a pendant. And we have two more earrings here that are stuck here in, in this chain here, which I'm assuming are pendants. So we have here. So we have one pendant here, another pendant here, and another pendant here. So we have three pendants, not marked. Okay, this one is marked here, sterling. This one is not marked. So we have three pendants, and I'm assuming there's three chains. Uh, this one didn't have the pair, and this is just another one of those earrings without a pair. Maybe the pairs will show up in here. Let's see. This is really nice. Look at this, guys. Look how pretty this is. Okay, this is a really nice turquoise one with uh, little corals and leaves and with the chain, and there's no markings in the back, but... I'm sure it's definitely silver, but of course I'm going to test everything. But this is a really nice big piece. Okay, so what we have. Okay, we have some things in here. <laughs> yeah, so for $200, I, yeah, this, this is really good. So, not complaining. Okay. You know, I, I think I could sell these for really high prices. Okay. Here we go, we have another pair of earrings. And these are not marked. And they have different backings, which is, it's okay, you don't even have to add the backings. Backs to them, so we have that. We have another cross. So that's two crosses, and we have this one here. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this, guys. This one has uh, the turquoise and the coral. So it's very pretty, I like these. Okay, it's a little bent here. I hope I don't break it. Nope, I didn't break it. Okay, very pretty. Okay, so that was a complete. So, so far, these are the ones that don't have pairs. Now, what are these? Let's see. And I don't see anything else in here, but you now we got a lot of stuff. Okay, so more pendants with the chains. Oh, fell down. <laughs> Okay, so this is a little tiny pendant here, and it does have a chain, which is good. I hate looking for chains. 
So yeah, so here's one here. There's another pendant and another pendant. And these are, here we go, one, two chains here. I'm thinking maybe this one is a pendant too. I don't think this is an earring. Maybe this is for one of these. So let me see. Let me check. Let me check and see how. Um, yeah, this is actually a pendant. Yes. Okay, so there's four pendants here. So that the only one that was missing the pair was this one little earring. Which I can, I guess, when I, um, I, I did have more of these, didn't I? <laughs> okay, when I find the one that I, I did have, I can send this one as a gift, you know, in case she or he loses the pair. Okay, so I got a lot of fun stuff here, and I just wanted to share with you guys. So this whole lot was $200. And uh, like I said, um, the, the belts that I have three of, uh, they were going from 170 uh, all the way up to 270 depending on the condition. And the condition is very good because there, this leather smells really good. There's no wear on it. There isn't even a hole uh, on here. It's never been worn. So, yeah. So, a lot of nice stuff I just wanted to share with you guys. Uh, I hope you had fun watching. This is going to be fun for me to list. And I'll probably start tomorrow except for the one that I already did. That was just, you know, a trial to see if, to see if it, there was going to be any interest in it. And there were a lot of people viewing it. So we'll see what happens. I'll give you an update on it if it sells. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is Anita Fanita saying goodbye.